Hey there, this is Matteo from Spada Milano, and today we're in Via Ilarione Rancati, very close to Via Le Monza, pretty much at the height of Turro, in order to show you a studio apartment with kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and one balcony, which is a part of a residence. In this case, it is located on the first floor. It is accessible both through the stairs and through this elevator, as you can see right over here. So now, let's just go ahead and let me show you around. So the studio apartment that we're going to show you today is just right over here. As we walk in, we have the kitchen on our right. On the left, we've got the door leading to the bathroom. While proceeding, we have the bedroom, which is directly connected to the private balcony, which you can find over here. It is accessible through these uh, tall, uh, luminous uh, French doors, double ones. And this is the private balcony available for the studio apartment. It is an interior one in this case, and it is directly overlooking the private courtyard of this uh, residential building. Those ones that you can see right over there are boxes that are available as an extra cost in case you need to park your car. This is the little balcony, but it's still uh, special enough to chill out outside. And now we can uh, head back in order to show you the bedroom. It is a fully furnished studio apartment. We find a nice uh, armchair over here and a little bedside table on that corner with the phone connecting directly to the reception. The bed in this case is a queen size one, so this is suitable for a single person. On this wall hanging, we find a flat screen TV on top of this uh, little table, which can be extended just by folding these up. So you can have your meals on it. There are a few built-in uh, drawers right over here. That's the heating unit. While on the top there, as you can see, we've got uh, central air conditioning as well. Here we find a full-length uh, mirror. While behind that door, separating the bedroom from the rest of the apartment, we find a tall uh, standalone wardrobe with double doors. There's a large one in here, which includes the rack and the ironing board so you can just place it outside for the clothes to dry out and we've got a second one in here with an extra pillow some room to hang your clothing and a large set of drawers built into the bottom we have to mention that there is a shared laundry service at the ground floor of this residence so that's accessible to all of the tenants you can control the temperature of the room from here. While well, here in the entrance hall we find uh, four coat hangers and there's also some room for the shoes here at the bottom. As for the bathroom, it is uh, actually fairly spacious. We find a sink with its uh, mirror on the top and there's a built-in uh, hair dryer over here. The room for the towels which are provided with the apartment as well as both of the toilets, the voucher and bidet. What in this corner, we've got a box shower with its uh, sliding doors. It's a fairly special inside itself. Well, on the opposite end, we've got the kitchen, which can be fully hidden just by closing this foldable door. In it, we find a microwave over here. There are some uh, towels provided. There's also a broom for cleaning the apartment. On the kitchen counter, which is a fairly basic, we find a large sink, the stove on this side, some room at the bottom in which you can find uh, some utensils for cooking, as well as a little set of pots. On this other end, you've got the fridge with its uh, little freezer built into the top. And uh, looking at the top of the kitchen, over here we've got some compartments, including some uh, plates, small tools, a set of uh, cutlery over here, so you can have your meals at home. The rack to dry your plates and pots after washing. And another little cupboard over here, where you can find uh, cups for breakfast, sunglasses, as well as a little coffee machine. As for the location, as we mentioned, we're just across uh, Viale Monza, which is a popular street with uh, plenty of uh, facilities, including a supermarket, which is just a few hundred meters away. So super accessible. We, the nearest underground stop is uh, Turro, belonging to line number one, which uh, connects you directly to Loreto, Porta Venezia and uh, Duomo in just a few minutes. 
As we mentioned, we do have the option for uh, car park with the boxes over there in the courtyard. And in the Turo neighborhood itself, we do have uh, several other facilities, including a nearby public park, which uh, runs along the Naviglio Canal. So that's a very nice spot for the outdoor activities too. And with this, we show the other things. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Ciao, ciao!